Hi, this is a, a quick tutorial showing you how to convert your FPV uh, monitor that comes with the Quantum DIY kit from Hobbykin to fit the dimension uh, mount uh, as you can see in front of you at the moment. It's fairly simple so we'll, uh, we'll get into that in a second. I just bought my uh, Hobbykin uh, Quantum DIY FPV kit. I never glued the actual sides together. I held it all together with um, rubber bands so it's easy to physically pull apart as you can see at the moment. I also glued on top instead of over the seam in this area here and I didn't screw it so it pulls apart very very easy and it's functional so it'll work uh, in obviously in the goggles. I've also modified it on the back. I've glued no. In the back here uh, which fits the screw that comes with the, the mounting uh, kit and that's the little screw there and it um, makes it a lot easier to actually mount and I'll show you the, the process in a second of uh, putting the mount on the dimension um, from Walkira and uh, we'll hopefully have a, uh, a video worth looking at. In the kit as you can see but I'll assemble it in a second. You will be requiring a couple of very simple little tools um, one will be a little tiny screwdriver and there will be two little allen keys that are required as well uh, so you need one of them and uh, one of them so pretty pretty straightforward sort of kit I'll reposition the camera in a second with it um, I believe this piece here and uh, those two look like they go together so we'll see what happens here um, oh yeah they, uh, they fit alright we're going to need a little bolt that goes through it. <clears throat> so let's assemble this bit and see what happens. Yeah, it fits through all right. Oops. A bit difficult to do behind a camera. Anyone who's ever tried it um, will understand. Okay, that's uh, fitting together all right there. We've got this piece. Yep, I suppose. Yep, that goes through there. Looking at that, that's all right. So I'm assuming that'll be probably that one. It's a fair size. And uh, looks like one size, one side is bigger than the other. So we've got a, um, a screw that goes through there for certain. Um, probably that way, I guess. Pop that through. <coughs> Drop in our Allen key to get it going. And that's reasonable for the moment. That'll do for the present. Okay, what else have we got here? <coughs> got a, another one of those. I suppose that's a spare. No idea what that's for. That's a spare. And uh, we've got one of these. And uh, we've got that. Okay, so let's have a little look at this thing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I think I know how it goes. I'll bring over my little doovawacky here, my little radio. I'm guessing that that piece there fits in, which it does. So that's, that goes there. Okay. So that goes in there. It's got a screw on the bottom of it. I'm guessing that's, or oh, screw hole I should say, so I'm guessing that'll physically fit in there. So, yep, through there and on the other side. Okay. I need to probably do this off camera because I can't lock it in by my hand so I shall return. Okay so I'm back again I've got a some pliers this time and uh, just lock that into into there and uh, see if we can tighten it up this time. That's better. There we go. So we got that sitting in there, and of course, screw goes through the other side. So yeah, it fits all right. Let's have a 
Yeah, that's not too bad. That seems to um, seems to be together pretty good. Obviously, that's a bit loose. But, uh, we'll tighten that up in a second. So, first, I'll pop on the little monitor. <coughs> so, here we go. I'll got hold of the, uh, the screw a bit better, and you can see that screws in nicely into there. So pop that out again um, this little thing here and uh, over she comes and uh, through the back so, and of course I want, which is probably about that. Got a little Allen key, I'll lock that in position, lock that in position. And I'm going to need another, there it goes, I'm going to need a, another screwdriver. Okay, um, it's always the way you don't have things. Okay, I've uh, just got back. I picked up a little screwdriver. It's not the ideal one, but uh, it'll do the job. And uh, there we go. So she's sitting in there quite nicely, and that's uh, yeah, fairly happy with that. But uh, now I've got a dual-purpose um, cheap monitor. I can use it uh, connected to my. Uh, radio like this, or I can use it in the goggles uh, with the DIY uh, system from Hobby King. Uh, now all I've got to do is work out where I'm going to be putting uh, all these little leads again. Um, we'll sort that out. Well, here we go. Uh, we've got all the gear sitting here. It's all working relatively nice. What I've done on the back here is... Oh, I'll flip that over and knock it around a bit. Uh, we've got the little transmitter sitting in there, um, a bit of velcro holding here, a bit of velcro up under there, cables fitting in that little section there. Um, it's quite easy to actually uh, to work by, by hand. Uh, we can simply connect up. We've got uh, easy access to changing channels. Flip that over. Of course, at the moment, no signal. Um, turn on the radio. And uh, all switches in the right spot. I'm just popping over here to my trusty Volcura, plugging in. Okay, just going. We should have signal, and there we go. Okay, we've got our signal, so and everything working quite nice. So there we go. So it works quite okay. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that. Um, so. You can uh, convert the DIY uh, FPV goggles from uh, Hobby King quite easily into a little little unit that fits uh, snugly onto the uh, handset, onto your radio. A little bit, un bit messy underneath, but uh, uh, for the job it works quite okay. And you can plonk him down and it fires up. And I've got low battery, I think that tells me that, uh, yeah, strangely enough, I think I need to, um, need to charge it. So... There we go. Whoa, fantastic. Okay, that's it for now. Catch you later. Bye. To get um, one other thing I forgot to mention, this little uh, hole which we got here um, is perfect for your lanyard, so she'll fit in there nicely. And uh, 
because you've got a fair bit of weight now added on the back that supports uh, perfectly and uh, there you go not bad at all I'm, I'm quite impressed